Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting week of This Can't Be Real. This week we are checking out Mad Games Tycoon, a game that has recently uh, been released on Steam. So I'm uh, going to be taking a look at this. It looks like it could be uh, pretty fun. It's early access and the reason why it looks like it could be pretty fun because it's in a genre of uh, games that I have either really liked or thought were really terrible because I've played two game tycoon type video games before. Game Dev Tycoon, which was very good and uh, I liked it a whole lot. You guys could have even seen recently um, I did my, my two year anniversary special on uh, Game Dev Tycoon and... I still love it. I still think it's a fantastic game, and luckily I've got that experience fresh in my mind because I've also played Game Tycoon 1.5, which is really not a good game, but apparently is quite a lot older than I thought it was. I guess it got recently sort of a, well, you know, in the last year it got like a Steam release, and uh, it it isn't good, but maybe it's like so old that you can uh, forgive it. Also, you know, I think there was uh, quite a bit lacking in the uh, German translation from it. So I think it was German, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, there was some uh, quite some oddities in the language in that game. Anyways, this is Mad Games Tycoon, and this looks uh, like it could be a whole lot of fun. It's got some positive Steam reviews, so you can see down here, VEA, whatever. It's early access, so it can still get better, but uh, you know what, I'm going to be taking a look at it right now. So I've never played before. Seven episodes is what this is going to be, about 15 minutes an episode. It's going to be a whole week of Mad Games Tycoon. To figure it all out. Player name. All right. So, what is our pl wow? Choose company logo. It can be. We can be a claim. Wow. Isn't that something? Qatari. All right. That's like um. You know, it'd be a lot funny if it was spelled with a Q, wouldn't it? Uh. Well. Wow. Look at that. That's cool. Should we just be the mini soft? I mean, let's just be the star. Let's just be the, the, the star, but it's, this is kind of funny. I like that. Let's just choose the star. Choose the location. Oh, man. Well, I think I'm going to choose the Canadian location. Unlocks own engine. Unlocks copy protection. Uh, we're going to unlock our own engine. Um, easy start? No. Player name? Uh, oh, okay. Well, you know, we'll choose the classic as I, uh, as I always do. Uh, don't ask me. It's a silly joke. It's just the name that, uh, I chose when I did my first, uh, Let's Play of, um, far of, um, Football Manager 2013. That's the name I came up with for my own character, and, you know, there you go. Why? Because, you know, it sounded kind of English. I was, I was the coach of, or, manager of arsenal so uh you know dover that's a place in england yeah you can see i'm not very creative when it comes to anything company name this is where we can have a lot of fun let's call our company um let's call this one uh you know let's uh let's call it just something really lame supernova games fuck it we're a star you know what what can i do um that's going to be it. Easy start? No, I'm not very creative when it comes to name. You guys are going to see uh, when I choose game names, if that's a thing in this game. I don't even know how this game works at all. I've, I've seen, like, nothing of it. Uh, you guys are going to see that my game names are pretty bad. Oh, ooh, you can you can do this kind of stuff. Oh, look at that. You even got points. Okay. Um, work will, speed, office work, music sound. Um, well, you know, I would be... I feel like I would be crazy uh, on office work. I feel like music, I like all of these things I can get better in. I can get, I can get a lot better in all of these things uh, than, so let's do that and let's move office work up. Because I feel like speed and work will are the kind of things that like I don't want to be lacking. But in all of these other categories, I think I can improve myself. You know, we don't want to be quick off the bat. Is that that us feature? Oh, wow. Okay. Special feature. Uh, what? It, wow. Okay. Level editor. Oh, boy. This is a strange game feature. What is the feature that has been automatically chosen for us? I, I, I can't even tell. It's sprites. Sprites is the one. Um, okay, uh, let's do Perfected KI. That's crazy. Um, you know what? I'm just not going to touch that. I'm just not going to touch it. And I'm going to say that's going to be it. Okay. 
Select difficulty, easy, normal, or hard. Let's go with normal. All right, welcome to Mad Games Tycoon. Initially, many functions are disabled, but with time, more and more features have are unlocked. Have fun. Oh my god, how old is this game? Okay, <laughs> um, choose office. Buy, and, and no, do I really want to buy an engine? Do I want to do, okay, so I can pop up the menu to do something. All right, a lot of stuff is development. Cost, plan room. Okay, cancel. I have $100,000. I should probably build a room. Um... Oh, I can move this. All right. Uh, I can. Oh, I see. All right. So let's go and make this room. I don't know. How big do we want it to be? Can I make it this big? I can make it that big. Can I, I can't make it in between, though. Uh, let's go and make it this big. Accept. Uh, put door. Um, well, it doesn't want a door to there, so I'm going to say there'll be like a little hallway here or something. So let's go put the door there. Wow. Okay. Uh, develop new engine. Oh, uh, I should, uh, I should make a game, right? Okay. All right. This is familiar. It's very strange. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so we don't have an engine, but, you know, we can actually, we can make our own engine. Buy engine. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to want to develop a new engine. Okay, new engine. Should we start off by... No, we shouldn't start off developing. We don't need to develop an engine. Develop a game. All right. No engine. Engineless. Engineless game. So, new game number two. We didn't even make game number one. Um, all right. So, type. Retail. MMO. Or free to play. Wow. Interesting. All right. It's a retail game. Select a topic. Pets, pirates, hospital, robots, and military. Um, we're going to go with robots. A robots game. Selects main genre, puzzle game, uh, skill game, arcade game, or puzzle game. Uh, it's got to be a robot arcade, right? Don't have anything that makes any more sense. And it'll be a military arcade game because that makes a little bit more sense. Select subgenre. Nope. No subgenres for us. It's just a, a trend skill game. Oh, the trend is skill game. Okay. Well, time's not ticking by. So we can do a pirate, a hospital, robots. Huh, skill game. What would be what would be the best kind of, I don't know if any of these really fit the skill game. Well, um Dr. Mario? Sure. That was a skill game. All right, hospital skill game type retail and no subgenre. All right, let's do that for our first game. What shall we call it? Well, we can we can call it um, Slam Back Dem Pills. There you go, Slam Back Dem Pills. I think that's a good idea. Next, select a platform. Oh, we can multi-platform at one point. Personal computer, of course. Next. All right. No license and no copy protection. No, we are DRM free here. Gameplay or optics are sliding scale. Um, optics. Does this mean graphics? Because, oh, this might be a game with a strange uh, translation as well. Optics. Uh, game death. I mean, it's a skill game. So we got that. Uh, we're going to crank that up. Core gamer or casual gamer. Um, we're going to... Uh, you know what? There you go. There you go. Atmosphere or functions. Game length. Boom. And gameplay all the way. So there you go. That's going to be uh, what it's going to be. Very nice. Next. Um, this is English. Oh, we can select languages. Enable, disable all languages. Does that... Oh, I get it. All right. English. Um, you know, I got a feeling that making the game in German and Japanese in this game is probably a fair idea. Um, I don't know why, but looking at this game, I feel the German market is going to be 
Well, a little bit bigger than it might be in real life. So, you know, English, Japan, makes sense. We'll, we'll cater to the German market as well. Um, you know, they're a fan of optics. Uh, oh, it does say graphics. Wow, what the fuck did it mean by optics back then? Well, they got some good questions there. Uh, priority. Um, sounds can screw off. All right, so we got that. Gameplay. Uh, techno uh, we're going to call uh, graphics. We're going to call this one 30, and we can go something like... There you go. Te technology. Uh, something like... Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. I think that's a good idea. And uh, it's going to call us just 38 grand. 38 big ones. Next, only text characters and PC sounds. Ugh, that's not going to be good. Um, start, start it. Let's start it off. All right. Nice. Uh, excuse me. You, you can, you can begin work. What? Stop. Okay. So we need a desk, uh, as it seems to uh, be clear. Uh, can we get a three-star desk? Yeah, we can get a three-star desk. Let's get a three-star desk in white. There you go. Um, and uh, I don't know. Enable, disable, pick up objects. Um. No, okay. Well. There you go, cancel. No. Escape, okay. So, okay, so we're working on that right now. Um, what about you? No, we don't want to hire any employees. The desks are the only head office cabinets. I don't know what these cabinets do. Do they do anything cool? A two-star cabinet? Yeah, sure. We can go for that. Um, there you go. That's going to spruce up this office. And uh, cancel. Okay. And seating. Well, you know, we, we don't necessarily need anything like that. All right. Uh, so Qatari has released Story of Artists. Oh, okay. We can go look at uh, all-time charts. Wow, this is quite the game. Uh, this is uh, one of them games where uh, fi figuring out uh, mechanics is going to be uh, pretty tough. I'm going to make, after this, hopefully I make some, some a little bit of bank and uh, I can figure out some stuff. So I can go in here. Okay, time stops. My uh, my game's turnover is no. Um, room development. Do, do I not have, like, lounge? Oh, restroom. All right. Well, that's going to be useful now, isn't it? Uh, so we're going to call this the restroom right here. Uh, we can accept that. Put restroom door. Yeah, all right. There you go. So we got a nice, we got a nice restroom. Uh, we can... Okay, so this is cabinets. Yeah, miscellaneous. That is just sitting room, server room, storeroom, restroom. All right. Uh, you know, we probably need it. Uh, actually, hold on. Cancel. Was there a nicer toilet? No. Uh, but... You know, there, there's this, so we can, we can, there you go, we can put that there, and cancel. Uh, we can, we can put a sink. Sink has got to be uh, of some importance. You know, that can go right there. Uh, restroom sink, metal, a hand dryer. You know, that can go. That can go beside the sink. Hey, see that thing? I think that's a perfect restroom right there. Boom. All right. Tatu has released Red Hook'em. I don't know what that means. All right, so, oh, okay, now we're working on speaker sound. Awesome, I mean, there's little little things are, are popping up. I don't know if those are how good our game are. Oh, look at that new research feature, sprites. We can research that. I think I'm gonna be researching that after this game releases. Um, again, we can go here and we can buy an engine. I don't really want, like, how much does an engine cost? Let's find out uh, for no, there are no engines. We can't buy any of those. <laughs> Let's save the game. Whew. All right. Save. Game one. All right. That was easy. So we got that. Unlocks. One of 20. We unlocked our own engine. So we're going to be making our own engine because we, we can't buy one. Garage. Large. Old office. Small office. Me oh, wow. Well, you can move to a lot of places, can't you? All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, this is going to be, this is our one man area right now. Okay. Oh, we can't produce, we can't self-produce. 
Timer is not taken up. That's good. All right. Um, find publisher. Uh, share four dollars, five dollars. Uh, fan base arcade. No. Economic simulation. Uh, no one has. Hmm. Okay, that's too bad. All right. So who are we gonna go with? Uh, Chemco or something like that. Coleco. Is that what that is? Tay two. Uh, or Roar. Well, fan base, um, none of these are particularly strong, but I guess Arcade is at least kind of similar uh, in 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 a way. It's not really, but Kemco it is. There you go, skill game, hospital, plus one. All right, we're doing good. First game you complete, you can build a research area, research new features, genres, and themes for your game. All right, let's see how we did. We got uh, graphics are okay. Next time, we'd like to see sound is really bad. Earaches, control is too complex, could have been improved. A really bad game. Please do not buy it. Oh. All right, so we can't skimp, skimp on sound in this game. Um, well, you know, we learned something new. Uh, excuse me. What? What? Have we, whoa. Okay. Um, I don't know. What do we got here? Develop a new engine. All right. Optimized for. Should we keep going on skill games? No. Optimized for cancel. Features. Okay, so we can't research anything. So I think we need a research area, don't we? All right. So we will need a research area. All right, new game genres, RPG. So we need to go here, and we can now build a research area. That's cool. And where's our research area going to be? Well, we can't make it there. That's clear, but can we? No, okay, we can't. Can we go? We can go like this. I mean, we can't leave, so actually this is fine. Uh, we can go like this and just have like one main hallway right there. All right, cool. So, uh, accept. Put door. Uh, yeah, we can't have doors facing each other apparently, so that's gonna be that. Furniture. What what do we need in a research area? Training room, sitting room, miscellaneous seating, cabinets, head office. Do we need desk? Uh, oh, we do need a desk. Okay, well, you know, we can we can use this desk here. Uh, where is this gonna go? You know, this is gonna go right, right along this wall. So let's just spin it. You know, we could go like that, but I think it's probably safer just to do this. Very nice. Look at that. We got our gray desk. We're $125 in the hole, aren't we? All right. Um, well, let's go to charts. Weekly charts. Wow. Is this... Uh, I mean, that's... That's... Wow. All right. Th is that dollars? Is that in? Is that in currency? Because if that's in dollars, my game's turnover... Wow. Okay, games don't make a lot of money in in this world. Um research game $50,000 for RPG. Okay. Uh research feature sprites 10,000 if we had money. Research topic staff. Research to topic martial arts medieval thieves. Okay. Well, let's develop a game. Select a topic. Obviously, military didn't work out, but we can select a military arcade game and a subgenre. We can't do that type. Retail. Okay. Um, so that's going to be good. Trend is arcade. Fantastic. Okay. So trend is arcade, military. Let's let's create this game. Nobody knows where game number one went. I think game number one is just disappeared into the ether. Actually, you know what? This game. This episode's been long enough. Tune in tomorrow to see the exciting conclusion of this. Well, not really, but to see the next part. The conclusion is still six episodes away. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aethervids all of the time. Thanks.
could drop by yeah, and span of the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. <laughs>